Hello everyone, my name's Dogly, and in this video I'm going to show you how I farm Whopper Flower Nectar fast. There are tons of Whopper Flowers all throughout Teyvat, but most of them are kind of all by themselves in very far away places and it's just a pain in the butt to farm them. I've kind of found a number of spots where multiple Whopper Flowers can be found easily or walked to easily, and this is the route that I personally do. There's other routes that you can potentially look at, but I think I like to keep my stuff under 10 minutes, so I'm going to show you what I do in 10 minutes for my Whopper Flower route. Whopper Flower, of course, is a character and talent ascension material that can be used on characters such as Ganyu and Hu Tao, both of whom I am uh, raising currently. So I've been trying to get all of Hu Tao's and Ganyu's talents up to level 9, and that can sometimes, you know, eat up a lot of Whopper Flowers. You can see I'm almost out as it is. So let's go farm some more. It's so nice to be stressed. The first spot I can like to go to is kind of right here in this valley region, and then just a little bit to the east. Here is a spot of three hidden pyro whopper flowers that we'll go to first. On a lot of uh, the maps that I've looked at, this spot has been missing for some reason, but it's a super useful spot. Uh, super useful spot because you know there's three of them right next to each other. You do have to be mindful of them though because uh, you know there's three right next to each other. They're gonna throw fireballs at you. You kind of have to be prepared for that. Next up, we'll kind of go near the Pyro Regis Vine. There's one kind of on the cliff here. Then we'll walk a little bit ways, kind of jump down the hill to this one. Then we'll go up and there's a pair that are up here. There's another pair of Pyro Whopper Flowers that we can get to by teleporting here and then just gliding over to the cliff. And a pair of Cryo Whopper Flowers that we can get to by teleporting here and then Kind of dropping down into a cave. Lastly, we'll go up here where there's a pyro and a cryo whopper flower. One of them's kind of hidden, so I'll kind of show you how to find that soon, though. With that said, let's teleport and hop right into it. So this first spot, which is really our most concentrated area, it does have a few other enemies nearby that might be annoying to deal with. Primarily, you know, these uh, geovishap hatchlings. So if you teleport and they're right there, you might have to beat them up. I think I might be able to avoid them, so I'll sneak by. But just be aware of them in any event. So I kind of left this treasure chest as a marker on my map, unopened, so simply so I can find this spot, because I like going here a lot. But we can see how a few of them are starting to pop up. There's three in total. They can be annoying to deal with. Just be prepared and, uh, you know, try to dodge as much as you can. Or if you have Bennett, you can just go crazy and do whatever you want because he'll just heal you right back up. That was some fast Whopper Flower Nectar. Alright, next we're going to climb up here and head towards the... Pyro Regis Vine. I'll kind of try to slow, uh, climb a little bit slowly just to save some stamina. This one can sometimes be hidden behind the rocks, but it should be just right here. Of course, as you can see, the fireballs are kind of heat-seeking. They have a, a homing or a component. Alright, easy nectar. Now, there are two that are really close to us, but I kind of like to go to the one that's further away first, simply because we can just teleport back because of that. Uh, waypoint that's really close to the pair of them that were sort of nearby. But you can kind of see down here, we can already see a pyro whopper flower off in the distance. 
because this one's far away, I find it faster to just shoot it with a bow character like Ganyu or even Child. Now we can teleport up here. And as soon as we get on this cliff, we'll kind of be able to look down and see two more of them. Unfortunately, um, shooting from up here is going to be a no-go because the Regis Vines won't register you nearby and they'll kind of just auto-regenerate their health. Because when you get far away from enemies, they can auto-regenerate their health. So just be mindful of that. Drop down a little bit closer and then you should be able to actually get them to take damage. One down. Trees in the way from my shots a little bit over here. So I might need to move and get closer. Because I am noticing that it was starting to just generate its health. Because we are too far away. All right. Easy, easy. Next up, we'll go to a pair of Cryo Whopper flowers. Sometimes on this map, it's a little bit hard to, to, I can get lost for this location a lot. So that's where the marker is really helpful. There's just so many trees in the way that kind of block where exactly you should be going so pinning it on your map can be helpful just because it's kind of you know in this cave that's a little bit hard to see with all of the rocks and trees and everything in the way you should be careful um, because this is a water spot with uh cryo whopper flowers which means that you have a high chance of getting your characters frozen here I mistimed my ultimate, but it's no problem. All right, easy. The next one we'll have to do a little bit of gliding, but it's not going to be that much work. Just teleporting here and gliding over to the hill that's kind of in the center of frame. We can climb up here first. But right in that clearing where that one tree is, we can start to see some. We saw one pop up, but there's two of them there. There's the second. I'll wait a little bit to get some stamina back. Lastly, we'll head up here. So this spot, um, once you teleport, you can just turn over here and you'll see one cryo whopper flower. There's another one that's a little bit hidden that we'll get to next. Whoops, got frozen. Alright, 
So it's this middle mint over here that has a pyro whopper flower hidden, um, hidden underneath it. So you can just activate it, step back a little bit, and hit it with, you know, a, preferably a non-fire character just so you can get a little bit more damage. All right, and that's that. That was just a quick, um, less than 10 minute route that I do for Whopper Flower Nectar. If you found this video helpful, please give a like and feel free to give comments for any other video suggestions that you have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. I take my meals cold to quiet the spirit and calm my vital energies. Jinshin infused water with ice is the most effective.